Vacant lots, abandoned buildings, urban decay. That's the image that comes to mind of Red Hook, a rundown Brooklyn neighborhood. But this image is slowly evolving as artists begin to move into the community. It's considered a place that uh, most people wouldn't want to come down to. I mean, it's a, for, it's a frontier. You know, the artists will move into these neighborhoods that are kind of marginal, and then they'll kind of be popular, you know, like now this neighborhood's getting a lot of attention. New York artists, it seems, are always on the move. They settle in one neighborhood because the rents are low, but over time their colony has become chic and gentrified, so they pack up and look for a new home. This trend has brought over 60 artists to Red Hook over the past five years. Well, I think the artists are bringing the community back to way, the way it used to be. I think uh, Red Hook is becoming, starting to get together now, you know? Things are happening now. In fact, Red Hook even has a lone art gallery right by the bus stop. Artist Florence Neal opened the gallery four years ago. So far, it hasn't been profitable, but she says she's in it for the long haul. I like being the lady with the only art gallery in Red Hook because uh, it's a real opportunity. It's like a, a, a flower in the middle of a desert. Lawrence wants the community to become more aware and involved in art, but many of her neighbors say they've never stepped inside the gallery. I've never been in there. I never been. I just walked by. I would like to stop by one day, but I've never been in there. With a little encouragement, Edwin Fuentes and his friend Thomas Haneke ventured inside, but other neighbors are less daring. Not my type. Of art? No, no, that's not my type. Even so, the De Crescenzos, who've lived on the block for 50 years, say the artists are welcome. They're good people. They don't, you know, congregate and drink and get nasty and start yelling. Street brawls are a daily occurrence in Red Hook, but they don't scare off the artists. I mean, I know there's crime. I mean, we hear gunshots every once in a while and stuff, but I personally feel really safe. In fact, many Red Hook artists want their newfound community to remain just as it is, a distance apart from the trendy New York art scene. And they're hoping that Red Hook's troubled image will keep it from becoming spoiled by too much attention, so it can remain their discovery. For WNYC's Cultural Minute, I'm Jenny Atia.